I'm gonna say, this I'm gonna say. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a everyday, no makeup, makeup look sort of situation. So this is very minimal. I need to do something to these edges, baby. They are puffy. Um, but yeah, th this whole look, this whole everything included, the head, the hair, everything included, is a very minim minimal minimalistic look. Um, so like my hair, I didn't even like I haven't really brushed it in days, if I'm being quite honest with you, because <laughs> I've just been like working and stuff like that and not really doing anything, not really going anywhere. So, anyways this is not about the hair this is about the face so um i did a very natural no makeup makeup look so very very minimal makeup um no concealer or anything like that just a little bit of foundation a little bit of highlight just a very little bit of product and as you can see it's very wearable it's almost like i'm not really wearing wearing makeup so this is going to be a great tutorial for beginners people who are just learning how to really use makeup and um yeah, and it's for people who don't really like a lot of makeup because there's some people who don't really like makeup and they want to just like wear makeup for a special occasion. Yeah, so if you guys are interested to see what products I use and how I got this very natural, almost no makeup look, please keep watching. I was thinking today we could do a cut crease. I don't know. I have my hair. So, all right, I don't have the bonnet on today. <laughs> so I decided to just put my hair in a ponytail and then at the ending of the tutorial i'll like style my hair i guess i'll just like straighten it but um but yeah so i was just like let's see how this looks without me looking i mean i still kind of look crazy because my hair i haven't flat ironed my hair or even brushed this this hair in days um so yeah all right so anyway so let's get started so we're going to start off with the eyes I'm going to fill in my eyebrows and I actually want to fill in my eyebrows a little bit different. So the past like what two videos our I was um saying how much I love a dark brow and blah 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 and then I don't know. I don't know, but I don't really like how my eyebrows looked with the purple eyeshadow. Maybe it's because my eyebrows were too dark, so I kind of didn't like it. So I'm gonna try to fill in my eyebrows a different way. So so i'm gonna um the brush that i'm using is the anastasia beverly hills 7b and then the dip brow and granite ah, that shit is, i got one on my hand so i dip some in the brush and then now i'm gonna have tissue here but i'm just gonna squeeze the brush just to get it as flat and skinny as possible and then I am gonna start doing little hair like strokes in the front of my eyebrows. Just light little strokes to the brow. I need to actually get my eyebrows done and I do them myself now like I over quarantine I taught myself how to wax and tint my eyebrows but I've just been lazy so I haven't I haven't done it in a while but yeah that's what's making it a little bit difficult because my hair is all over the damn place so I'm just gonna brush it. This eyebrow looks pretty good. And this one looks, looks a little crazy. My hair just looks a fucking mess. This track is showing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Okay. 
so now I'm gonna just clean them up. So this is, I'm going for more of a furry brow sort of situation. So I'm gonna take this uh, NARS matte, soft matte cream concealer, and I'm gonna use that same, the same matte brush I always use, which is the 212 brush. It's like a super flat, squared looking brush. And I'm going to Me, my eyebrows. You know what? We're, we're not even gonna do a cut crease today. I'll save that for another video because I just feel like if I'm gonna do a cut crease, it needs to be a bold, it needs to be full glam, pretty much. So instead, I'm gonna film my no makeup makeup. That makes sense. So um, this ponytail is like blowing on. All right, so I have 60% heart. Right. So yeah, we're gonna do my no makeup makeup look so so I'm gonna put a little primer on my face the hangover rx primer so I'm gonna put a little bit of that on it's more of like a hydrating primer gonna take a little bit of foundation it's the Fenty hydrating foundation I always use I'm not mixing it with a darker color um, I'm just gonna see how it looks just by like sort of spot concealing these areas that I have hyperpigmentation so the reason why I'm using a foundation like spot concealing with the foundation is because I don't have concealer my complexion i don't typically spot conceal if that makes sense i don't really need i've i never until now that my skin has gotten like crappy i've never needed a spot concealer so i'm just using foundation I'm gonna use this Jack, uh, Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill JH08 brush. So it's a concealer brush. And I'm just gonna gently pat this out. So 
as I'm blending, I'm just wiping off on a piece of paper towel just to get any extra product off. Okay, I'm gonna just dip a little bit more into that foundation and kind of hit the areas that I could still see a lot of blemishes. Like it, it's okay if some show because again, like I said, this is like a no makeup makeup look, so this you want to use as minimal <clears throat> product as possible. But I just have like such dark ear like spots over here. So what I'm gonna do now to tie everything in, I'm gonna use that Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. I'm just gonna get some product on that. Now I'm just going to put some mascara on because we are not doing lashes today. And the mascara I'm using is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. We have mascara on the eye. <laughs> this damn wand is so skinny and flexible that sometimes when I'm putting it back in the tube, it breaks. So because obviously we're not wearing any falsies today, I want to get my lashes to look as full as possible on their own. I know this is a no makeup makeup lip, but still, I just need to. My lips feel so damn dry. I think I should have put lip balm on before I started this damn video. Alright. Alright, so now what I'm gonna do is. Because I want my face to last all day. I mean, I don't really have like that much makeup on, but. I don't want these blemishes to peek through the Sephora Giant Powder Puff. And I'm just gonna grab whatever powder is in the cap of the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm just gonna pat everything on just to make sure the little bit of foundation that I have doesn't move all day. So that's just like a tiny bit of product, not a lot. So this is the Guerlain powder in number nine. 
Dasein Concealer uh, brush I was using. Okay, so I'm just blending out the little bit of nose contour that I did. It wasn't much. Um, now what I'm going to do is, so I put my mascara on a few minutes ago. So a really like cool trick that I learned back before I started wearing false lashes is I would do a coat of mascara. Then I'll let that dry. I'll do a second coat and I, I just did the second coat of camera because my camera just cut off. And then I let that dry. So that should be pretty dry now. And then I just take my thing. No, it ain't dry. I just touched it. And uh, I'm not finished. Do it. So we'll wait on that. So in the meantime, um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of highlight on. Nothing, nothing crazy, just a little bit. And I'm gonna take that same Jaclyn Hill that I've been using lately um, in the color Bomb. So whatever's on the cap is what I'm gonna use, just a very little bit on the cap. I'm just gonna hit that high point, or just not that much product. And I'm gonna take a brush, a, a fluffy brush to blend it all out. Anyways, let me take this brush and just blend this out. a little on my nose, down the bridge. I actually haven't, to be completely honest, haven't really been into highlight lady, lately. And usually highlight is like my favorite. Like that's like my favorite part of doing my makeup. But because I'm like dealing with <clears throat> texture and stuff like that, like when you have textured skin and you're dealing with breakouts and not necessarily that you always have textured skin, but yeah, so if you're dealing with any texture in your skin, you want to you want to be very mindful of the amount of highlighter that you're using. Otherwise, you are going to enhance the texture and make it look far worse than it actually does. So that's kind of the route I'm going right now. Like I want to be very mindful of the amount of highlight I'm using just so I don't enhance the texture that I'm currently experiencing. And yeah, so... I'm still doing the blind eye. You guys know how I feel about my lips right now. You know, they crooked. So I can't find. What a, oof, I was about to curse and I didn't. So happy. I'm so proud of myself. I don't think I've cursed this whole tutorial. I mean, this, this is a pretty short tutorial, but I don't think I cursed the whole time. So that is great. Okay. Hmm, I'm gonna do this lip gloss today. No, I'm not going to do lip gloss. Okay, whatever. I'm going to use the KKW Nude... Oh, here we go. Right in my face. Nude 2. I was going to use the Nude 3 because I couldn't find the 2. But, um, I'm not going to overline today. I'm just going to follow the natural lining of my lips. Because again, it's a no makeup makeup look. We're gonna go in with the Laneige, Laneige, I think it's Laneige, lip sleeping mask. And this is like my favorite lip balm, currently my favorite lip balm. So I'm just gonna pop just a little bit on my lips. My lips need it because I've been sitting here recording with ashy ass chap lips. What's wrong with me? Okay, ass is not that much of a curse, so I get a pass at that one. And when I'm putting the lip balm on, I'm kind of going over the lip liner just to blend it out so it doesn't look as like lip linery. <laughs> All right, so one last thing, we're going back to the eyes real quick. So I think it should be dry, yeah, it's dried. So when the mascara dry, all right, so pretty much did two coats of mascara. Well, one and a half. The second coat, I didn't put that much product, but um, so basically like one and a half coat of mascara. And then you let it dry and then you just take your fingers and you just push it back. Because the mascara makes hardens the 
eyelash strands it's gonna and then you're pushing it back like this is gonna make the lashes stand up a little bit more and look a little bit longer and fuller so So yeah, so that is the look. Let me just take this raggedy ponytail out, brush my hair, and at least come back and look decent. So, all right, so I just like brush through my hair. Oh, girl, let me give you a kiss. <laughs> that is good. No, that <laughs> one's got it. Go. You just <laughs> all right, so yeah, so this is the finished look. It is my no makeup makeup look. So. Um, the times that like this makeup would look appropriate. I mean, whenever the hell you want actually, but <laughs> like I would do something like this for days that I'm going to work. I mean, I actually really don't ever wear makeup to work, but if I was to wear makeup to work, um, I would do something like this or if you're just like running errands and you're not really like, you don't really want to wear a ton of makeup, but you do want to look, you know, a little bit more put together. So yeah, it's very, it's very natural. A little bit of highlight on, yeah very very natural everyday look so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this video this look is just very easy it's very simple um pretty easy to follow if you have better skin than me then it's going to be even easier because you don't have to sit there and like correct like try to cover um your dark spots dark spots dark spots as much so yeah like i think i hope that you guys enjoyed this video yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this video Hold on, my head is itchy. <sighs> um, yeah, I need to wash my hair. Like, my hair looks terrible. Oh, my God. It looks bad. I need to wash it. But, um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment below. Even if it's just to say hi, like, just comment. Um, like this video. I said that already. Yeah, I said thumbs up comment and then most importantly subscribe like i need to subscribe to y'all so all right but i'll see you guys in the next video bye honey fair linda carson abc7 would you not eat my pants ah!